and I'm here to break down the overall energy that Pisces season is bringing into our life. What is unfolding? This is a timeless message. Even if it is not directly Pisces season, whenever you stumble across this video, this is when you're going to be experiencing this energy. We are all on different, you know, um, I want to say levels or different roads on our journey, <laughs> okay? And whenever this video finds you, my love, this is when you're going to be experiencing this energy. We just had a new moon in Pisces and I'm actually going to address it right now in Pisces season. There is a lot going on. On top of that, we have Mercury retrograde. I have a video where I broke down that energy. So definitely check both of those videos out depending on when it's uploaded on the channel, but make sure that you're subscribed, that you hit the bell notification so you will get the update of when that video actually comes. One of the things that I woke up that has been repeat, re like has been repeating itself in my mind, okay? Like, I mean, it's just spirit just keeps saying this, keeps saying this, and it is reach for your worth. So this Pisces season, this new moon in Pisces, whenever this video finds you, you are being asked, to reach for your worth. And what does that mean in its totality? I really feel like spirit is about to break that down to us right now. But as far as this Pisces season, major things that are gonna be happening in your life are right here. And um, this is the past, present, and future. So whatever is going on is asking you to reach for your worth. And honestly, guys, when I heard those words in my spirit, what I just felt on an intuitive level, or actually, <laughs> I found a post from the beautiful Dr. Thelma. I love her on Instagram. Oh, I love her. Y'all make sure you follow her, honey. That is my daily dose of inspiration. And that quote that is truly embodying this Pisces season and also when I say reach for your worth, this is what that energy is embodying. It says, tell the truth about what you really want, about what you really need, about what you really desire so that you can break out of this box of whatever anybody will give me. I will take it with gratitude, even though my soul is unfulfilled. So when we are reaching for our worth, when we're going after or doing the things that we desire, that is you reaching for your worth. Worth equals value, okay? Worth, e <laughs> I always mess this word up, worth equals value. So in this Pisces season, in this new moon in Pisces, it is helping us go after pursue, okay, the things that we desire, the things that we truly value in career, in love, in our home life, within ourselves, in our, um, in our beliefs, in our spiritual journey. It's all about reaching for your worth in those areas, really embodying what you value. Now with doing that, my love, first of all, it can, <laughs> I want to say this, it's going to feel very emotional, very intense. Um, whatever you're looking at, whatever you're facing, when you are reaching for your worth. And I'm not going to lie to you, on 
on either side or I want to say, yeah, side that you're falling on, rather you are being asked to come out of your shell. You're being asked to do something new, do something different, okay? <laughs> and these are things that we desire to do, you know, with your business, with your home life, um, with your career, with your creative projects, something that you're truly inspired about, something that, you're in, that inspires you. It's going to feel intense because you're being asked to come out of your comfort zone. You're being asked to do something different, start something new, leave the past alone, okay? And look towards the future, be present in this moment. And though those are emotions that feel so great, it can be so scary. So that's one side of the spectrum, okay? <laughs> then we have an, an a, a, I wanna say another side of the spectrum. When you, I wanna say the first side that I just explained, when you're reaching for your worth, it's you've already let go of whatever you need to let go, but it's more you embodying who you are confidently, okay? So that's one side of the scale. Then we have another side of the scale where you're being asked to reach for your worth, but not only that, it could be, I wanna say, <laughs> okay, okay. Just want to say this. I, ooh, it's a little tight. From a, um, you're being asked to let go of lower vibrations. Whatever does not resemble your value. That could be in a relationship. That can be in a mindset. That could be in something that you have held on to. That can be your home environment. That could be a career. Whatever it is, you're being asked to let go of those low, low vibrations those things that we cling to, those things that are not of us right now in this moment, those things that we just say yes to, that we just settle for, and those, you know, kind of just what that quote said. We are being asked in this Pisces season to reevaluate where we place or what we see as value, what we deem worthy. We're being asked to really go within our emotions and get clear, okay? And this can be intense. This can make you feel like you don't know if you're coming, you're going. This could be like, okay, what am I doing with my life? Okay, what do I want for my life? Yes, I'm ready. This is where I'm at. All of these emotions are going on right now. And the main thing that Spirit told me in that Mercury Retrograde video was don't fold. And now Spirit is saying, reach for your worth. And when I say don't fold, what Spirit gave me with that there's a quote that I love. <laughs> it says, when shit goes left, don't go with it. Meaning, one of the things that I had to realize and just going on with this Mercury retrograde and also this Pisces season, um, change is inevitable. Pray I said that right. But meaning, the things that are changing right now, defining and you getting clear on what it is that you want for your life, what you, where you place value, what is of value. Certain circumstances or situations are happening um, to invoke this change or for you to see this change. And quite honestly, some of the things that are unfolding in this Pisces season is Mercury retrograde, <laughs> all right, um, does not quite make sense. You know, um, one of the things that happen and I want to say just within, I'll, I'll give an example that happened within my family. My mother was driving my sister's car and got into an accident. And I was like, oh my God, um, that was, you know, shaking us up. Also, the car was totaled and it's a 2019, you know. So on one end, you know, my mother was in this accident where the car, my sister's car was completely totaled. I know that it was crazy and all, you know, but for me, it really got me to thinking just how I love my family, how I appreciate my mother. <laughs> um, it got me to thinking just how in a blink of an eye, things can switch and change just like that. So it's very important to really do the things that you want to do. Go the places that you want to go. Have the love that you desire to have. Have the place, the atmosphere, the career, whatever it is. Just don't settle in life. Um, 
So even in that shitty situation, um, there was beauty. And also, I feel like it brought our family even closer. On top of it, you know, my sister, even though it was 2019, there was something that she desired more in a car, but she kind of just got stuck in that. And I feel like the, the universe shifted her out of her comfort zone to top it all off. <laughs> um, mom, if you're watching this, I love you. But my mom has been adamant about staying in her apartment and it's a very nice apartment. However, I'm like, mommy, it's time to go. You need some new feng shui. You need, some, you know, it's just, uh, okay. However, she's been reluctant to move and now they sold the company. Now she has no choice but to move. It is a tower moment because initially when it first happens, um, it doesn't feel good. Usually when you have to reach for your worth, initially reaching for your worth, it doesn't feel good because it requires you to let go of something, something or to expose something or to stand in truth that's uncomfortable. But when you work through those emotions, when you get to the end result, it's going to be worth it. And that's what spirit is really saying in this Pisces season. Whatever you're looking at, I promise you, the end result is going to be worth it is what I'm hearing loud and clear. You know, and these changes can um, just show up in all kinds of forms. But I promise you, whatever, the, whatever this change is invoking, it's going to be worth it. So whatever you're looking at, when shit goes left, don't go with it. Find the beauty. Okay, my love. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at right now in this present moment right here. What is currently going on in this Pisces season? Okay. And in this new moon and Pisces currently right now and we have the first card releasing allegations okay I pray I'm saying that right <laughs> and then we have a 10 sorry about the glare from the ring light guys we have a 10 so anytime I see a 10 it signifies um endings okay and then what's the very next card <laughs> we have it says, dream a beautiful dream. Come on. Dream a beautiful dream. And then 19. And what's what like again? What's next is 20. 20 is a double 10. So I really feel like we're in the in between. You know, the in between is what truly matters. Those steps, those decisions that we make in the in-between is really what defines if we stay in this energy, okay, or in the past, or we come into the future. So that's where we are right now. So whatever is going on, don't take it personal. Also, reach for your worth. No matter what you're looking at, how you dream a beautiful dream is by reaching for your worth. Grabbing or gravitating towards what you define as value, what you see value as within yourself, within your life, okay? Within your food, within your decisions. And also, one of the things that I feel like are coming up I didn't really see any cards, but well, actually, yeah, we got one right here. <laughs> I forgive all past experiences, but also learning to have compassion for yourself. Maybe you didn't get it right the first five times. Realizing that it's never too late, that you're never stuck. Holding a space of compassion. But I want to read a little, a little snippet from this card, but I love this card, okay? Because with releasing allegations... We see this beautiful being, okay, in this vulnerable position. Um, I like to say this like the fetal position to me when you're cradled in. But also on, on her skin, I'm sorry guys, I had to bring it to my eyes. There are like little bees. We know that bees can be sweet and they can sting. We get that honey, um, but also, you know, it can sting. You know, the bees have a stinger. And I really feel like why spirit is showing me that because in this Pisces season, you're going to be releasing things that maybe at one point in your life were sweet to you. You know, maybe it's, it's, um, <laughs> it feels good, but is it truly you reaching for your worth? Does it truly value you? You know, 
even with releasing allegations, letting go of things. When I see this, um, that tie you down, you know, that weigh you down, um, letting go of emotions, let it, you know, whatever really plays heavy on your heart. I see you releasing, but I want to read a snippet of this from the book. It says, it is time to hold on to yourself and let go of another. Even if just for a time, you have gained all that was meant to be from that connection, at least for now. You have given and you have received. The need to let go does not deny the value of what has been acquired. It is more that the time has come for greater productivity, creativity, abundance, and consciousness in your life. Now, remember I gave, you talked about how, you know, bees are sweet, but it can sting. So whatever you're lady, letting go of, it's really you leaving your comfort zone, but just know this change that is happening, whatever you're releasing, it's for, it's because this cycle is done. It's done. And now it's time for you to move on to greater right here with dream a beautiful dream. And, and we see this, this is the world, endless possibilities. And this gold is highlighted to me. And I don't know if anybody else knows this, but you know me, Tori, I love me some Jesus. And I never knew, like, I love gold, like gold. I would choose it any day. So gold, um, is the color that represents Jesus or Jesus con conscious, Yahshua, the energy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, um. When I think of Jesus, I think about unconditional love and um, endless possibilities, um, endless grace, endless understanding, um, endless creativity. Nothing is limited. OK, and this is what this Pisces season is letting you know, whatever you release, whatever you let go, when you make a decision to reach for your worth. Man, the payoff and what you're grabbing is so, so much more. It's going to be worth it on a whole nother level. So to really be present in this moment, this is what you're currently experiencing right now. It says, I forgive all past experiences. You're making amends with the past. You're letting bygones be bygones. You know, we know that it's Mercury retrograde. So think it, um, you know, how you communicate, you know, projects that maybe you left in the past, um, you know, past relationships, all of these things are coming up. And I really feel like there's a, there's an extra dose of forgiveness that we are giving ourselves and allowing ourselves to be an experience. FYI, guys, if you hear like little snorkels <laughs> or little, little grunts or little wheezing, I have a baby strapped to me. It is my day to watch my <laughs> nephew, Caden. OK, so I have him. He's like three months, guys, and I have him like straddled on me and his little mom like sluggy thing. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> but anyways, um, on the back of this card, OK, it says I accept all that I have created for myself my past and my present. I am willing to allow my future to happen. So you're making amends with the past or something in your past. It could be in love. It could be um, in, in, with family matters. It could be within yourself. It could be in career. It could be all of the above and so much more. On a spiritual level, your spiritual beliefs, you know, um, you're allowing the past to be the past. And in this Pisces season, the past is coming up because there, there's this quote that says, you can't, you can't heal what you hide. You can't change what you deny. And it's not for you to live in what's happening. It's not for you to beat yourself up. It's not for you to beat another person up. It's not for you to feel some kind of way, but it's for you to get clear so you can move forward, so you can release that and know that greater is coming. Because what is truly for you will never miss you. I don't care what's going on when you receive it, but what is for you will never miss you. It has to come to pass. It's a part of your destiny. You can rest in that.
Always. Okay, something else that we are releasing from the past, it says, I appreciate others for who they are. And then it also says, I accept that I cannot learn other people's lessons for them. They must do the work themselves and they will do it when they are ready. So this is why there are going to be certain people. And when I say people, it could be in jobs. It could be in love, family. One of the things that I was telling the beautiful K moon, honey, (laughs) guys, if you have not checked out her Pisces new moon, man, you missing the whole thing. Cause like she nailed it on a whole nother level. I'm going to share it in the community tag, but really, and and also down here, really make sure that you um, check it out. But I was really telling the beautiful K moon, one of the things that I'm noticing right now, especially what's going on in Mercury retrograde and this Pisces season is that you're being asked to go within you're being, and and not even go within to scale back. Okay. Um, You know, to not engage (laughs) <laughs> okay, and allow people to have their own experiences, allow people to learn what they need to learn to experience what they need to experience. Even if you desire to create something totally different for them, that's not your place. And I, I learned that within myself. I'm like, yeah, you know, I could tell somebody, Hey, you know, that might not be such a wise idea. However, Spirit was like, uh, Tori, allow them to figure that out. Allow them to have the same experience that you had when you were defining what's for you and what's not for you. So I feel like we're all being asked to um, release this uh, energy. I want to say that um, of codependency, you know, and codependency, honey, it can show up in many, a whole heap of ways, just not in love relationships, but it can show up in family. It can show up in business. It Listen, it can show up in many forms, okay? But allowing a person to learn their lessons and do their work. You can't do it for anybody. You can't change a person. That was one of my mistakes when it came into relationships. And I was talking about this with the beautiful gay moon where I used to get in relationships and thinking that, okay, I can change them. I can make this person want to do right. I can make this person want to settle down right now because I'm so incredible. I can make this person, you know, um, see my worth. I can make this person want to have a relationship. No, you can't, Tori. (laughs) And I learned that. And I learned that the hard way, but I learned that. Okay? You have to allow people, you know, the space and the grace to learn their lesson and do their work. And this is why in this Pisces season, we're all being asked to really turn that focus on us that we've been giving outside situations and people. Really look at you. Dare I say it? Be selfish with yourself. Be selfish with your time. Because it's not selfish. What's selfish is to keep getting into, you know, into obligations or, you know, getting into other people's experiences and, and that's for them, not for you, you know? So when you do that, this is how, you know, you're allowed Or you allow yourself to dream a beautiful dream in this moment. Releasing the past. You know. Play creator with your life but not others. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like because that's I'm feeling that really strongly in Pisces. Because relationships are how you know you show up um, to people or situations. You're really being asked to reevaluate. Reevaluate that. And really ask you know. Is this what's best for me? Is this is this me reaching for my worth? It's about feeding what is of value and what's worthy to you. Anything else doesn't get it. And I know that can sound like a little harsh. However, but if you keep on feeding things that are not of value and that are not of worth, you're you're not getting an equal exchange. You are just pouring out of yourself if you keep doing things that really don't you know um really don't value yourself value your beliefs value where you're desiring to be where you're desiring to go that can be as simple simply as you know if it's been on your intuition to you know eat a little healthier exercise you know meditate i'm not going to tell you that you have to do it 
but it's of your best interest because it's it's taking you and helping you step towards the desires of your heart, okay? But you embodying who you are at your core. It's helping you see your value. It's helping you realize, wow, I'm worthy. Because if this thing keeps repeating itself as far as yourself, if it keeps repeating over and over, something for you to do, something, someplace for you to go, and it's you know that it's good for you, in this Pisces season, it's your best thing to do it because you're going to thank yourself later. It might seem small, but I promise you, with every small step eventually adds up. Okay? One of the things that I'm feeling, um, your solar plex, our solar plex is really, really being amplified. There's a lot of, um, it's really being, I want to say worked. You're really having to show up in this Pisces season. So any attention that you give to your solar plex, meditating, eating, um, affirmations, anything that you do, those are just some tools that I like to do. It's really going to be beneficial to you. Even as I'm saying that my solar plex is on fire um, <laughs> because I really feel like this Pisces season, we're being asked to stand. We're being asked to stand up and show out. OK, <laughs> you're being asked to show yourself. You're being asked to be here, be present, be seen, take up space, make some noise. And that can be nerve wracking. But if you do that, OK, if you choose to reach for your worth, what I want to ask spirit is what is in it for you? OK, what's in it for you? And I pulled some Oracle cards, but also I want to pull some tarot. OK, so let's just see. If you choose to reach for your worth, what does that look like for you in the future? Is contentment, okay? You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Subtly, you remember, I am right here resting in God, the divine source, Allah, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, sweet thing. So if you choose to reach for your worth, what you are securing in your future, it's contentment. And isn't that what we are all on a journey defining, going after? Contentment. Things that feel good. Being okay either way. That, is, that sounds like stability. That sounds like security. In your future. In your relationships. In your career. You know, in yourself. In your spiritual journey, all of that, you're securing contentment. Also, we have aging. I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, okay, and beauty, a vessel for the divine. I always makes the word of scatter. <laughs> okay, so when I see aging, we think about growth, right? And also, when you reach for your worth, when you reach for your value, what you are securing is that it's never too late. That age truly doesn't matter. Also, you're ensuring your growth because that's why we came here, to grow, to experience. And that's what you're securing when you do these things, okay? So, what does that look like? When you face, when you do whatever it is this Pisces season is asking you to do, what does that look like for you? Okay, what are you going to get? What is that calling into you? Okay. Oh, honey, what is that calling? That is taking you out of a poverty mindset and bringing you into abundance. That is taking you from the lender or the barrier to the giver, <laughs> the restorer, okay? It's taking you out of lack and placing you in prosperity. We have the five of pentacles. We know this card deals with rejection, feeling like you've been left out in the cold by life or certain, you know, like you got the short end of the stick. Also, what the five of pentacles, um, the five of pentacles represent is a challenge. Challenging times, okay, where you have to endure, 
but it's not like the nine of wands endurance, you know, like you, like you almost there. It's just like, you feel like you are just at an all time loss. And when you're in that energy, what do you do? You doubt yourself. You doubt your capabilities. You doubt what spirit has shown you, what you know to be true within your heart, because this green is really sticking out to me. This green door, you know, this green dress, green is our heart chakra, this yellow, our solar plex, our confidence. You start to doubt. You start to believe like, is it going to come together or is it not? This is the energy that you're going to leave behind right here. When you reach for your worth, when things go left and you don't go with it, when you don't fold, when those tower moments, or when you have to stand up, when you have to show up with every small decision that you make, you're moving away from this energy and bringing yourself right here into the queen of wands. To me, this, this is balance, ultimate balance with light and dark. Or I want to say the light and the moon, <laughs> okay? Right here with all this yellow, I think about the sun. So we know that that's masculine energy. The cat right here is that mystic, our feminine energy. So that's coming into balance. I want to say internally, spiritually being balanced also in the physical world, your tangible, your finances, you know, grounding those things. Why is it that, you know, when we're totally spiritual, you know, sometimes people will think, you know, when you think about spirituality, you think about poverty, you know, like you can only be rich on the inside that it's not supposed to manifest on the outside, which is a complete lie. You know, Kay Moon talked about that in her, in one of her readings where, you know, in this Pisces season, we're going to be reevaluating re like our finances and why are we pinching, you know, here and there, like going back to the drawing board. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all something real quick. <laughs> In 2020, there should be no reason why you not out here getting the bag, period. When I say like there are so many ways, guys to make money. I have come in contact with some of the most creative people and I'm talking about creative on a whole nother level. Like there, I met a beautiful soul. Like she literally, this is, this is, this is TMI. Okay. Mind you, but I didn't even know like these things were real. Like you can sell like your panties <laughs> online. I seen that on like Orange is the New Black. <laughs> Whoever watched that show and like, that's a real thing. And she out here said, selling panties you know, $150 a book. I'm like, what? Really? <laughs> Crazy, you know? And I was like, wow, I would have never like thought of that. Seriously. With your gifts, with your talents, with just who you are, even with your, <laughs> your panties. Like it's, it's endless here. And I feel like we're going back to the drawing board, you know, revisiting, um, revisiting your, the, the desires of your heart when it comes to career and finances, going back to those things and those, you know, those crafts that you like that brought you so much joy. But um, honestly, you know, so we're letting go of the five of pentacles and really embodying this queen of wands. What does a queen of wands mean? When you reach for your worth, when you do the things that spirit is asking you to do, your intuition and you reach for your worth, okay? You're calling in a venture, okay? You're um, calling in people, situations, opportunities that bring you passion okay something to be proud of you're calling in honesty because you are aligning with your truth you're calling in loyalty all right when you reach for your worth you embody the queen of wands the queen of wands is nothing to play with the queen of wands is sweet when she needs to be and sour when she needs to be, honey. Very well balanced. You know, she's affectionate. She's generous. She's loyal. She's adventurous. She's fun, loving, male or female. She can also be dramatic when she needs to be. Determined, honey. Think about it. <laughs> 
Whoever's watching this video, whatever you feed always grows. When you are 120, you are always 120% committed. The question to ask, what are you committed to? Are you committed to what help, helps grow you? What, value, what values you? Are you committed to your worth? Are you committed to the opposite? Because you are always going, you are always flourishing, but it's about what direction are you flourishing in? Because that determines your happiness. And in this Pisces season, we're stepping into our queen of wands. We're leaving this behind. We're making amends with it, okay? Now I just want to use this <laughs> and just see what outgoing message does spirit have for you in this Pisces season. Spirit, what outgoing message do you have for the beautiful soul that is watching this video right now for this Pisces season? What do you want them to know above all with all the information that you have shared here right now in this moment in time? What would you like to leave them with? What would you like for them to keep at the forefront of their mind in this Pisces season or whenever they are watching this video spirit? What would you like them to know? I'm hearing, take a chance. Take a chance right now. We got the throat chakra and the crown chakra. Speak up. Speaking up is how you create. Three is the number of creation. And with this crown chakra, I feel like it's your God-given gift. It's your God-given opportunity here. Okay. So I want to read the throat chakra. It says, and also in this Oracle deck, the throat chakra is seen as a tool. Okay. And your voice is your tool. Your voice is how you create what it is that you want. It's how you say yes. It's how you say no. <laughs> okay. And that's one of the words that I have really been embracing 2020. No, no. Okay. So um, it says the communication of truth is a changing wind, each moment evolving as wisdom is breathed in and exhaled. Communication is a tool that declares with words, beliefs, hurts, needs, and joys, all from what we perceived our truth to be in that moment, often as empaths, Feeling safe to communicate can be a challenge. Perceived beliefs of unworthiness or years of not being heard can all become energetic fear blocks within our throat chakra. And that is what this Pisces season is really helping us get clear on and really embody speaking up for what it is that we want for our lives in all forms, in all areas. And believe it or not, you would think that would be easy. But I even learned, because even when I'm doing like my one-on-one -on -one, um, sessions, you know, I have a time and sometimes we go over, but when I'm doing like my phone <laughs> or like my in-persons, you know, um, it's kind of like, it used to be like hard for me like to end the conversation. It's not because it's bad, because it's feeling good, but still, you know, Having a mutual understanding that, okay, I said this, this is what it is, boom, following through with that. As empaths, we must always strive to remember that what we wish to say has meaning in the moment. In our walk with energy, our intuition is valid in every moment of every interaction. You know things seemingly sometimes from a higher divine truth and that knowing is meant to be shared. Another aspect of being an empath is the uncanny ability to discern whether the communication is of truth from others. Why? We feel energetic intention. Love needs to feel like love or it's just empty words. A smile cannot hide an inner agenda. When a lesser energy of the malice, when a lesser energy intention is projected, know that your knowledge of truth will grow into deeper understanding as you allow yourself to communicate from your truth. So 
I love the example that they gave when it comes to love. It says love needs to feel like love or it's just empty words. A smile cannot hide a inner agenda. I really feel like in this Pisces season and in this very moment, it is important for you to listen to your inner internal guidance system, okay? Your intuition, discern, okay? Words are words, but what does it feel like? And this is why Pisces is helping you get clear on your emotions and filter out what junk needs to go. What is it time to let go of the past? What is it time to embrace? Because when that is mixed up, you can't discern what is real and what's not. But when you get clear on an emotional level, you're, you're able to reach for your truth. So some questions to ask yourself is, am I speaking my truth? Am I hearing and allowing others to speak their truth? Does the energy fit with the words that are being spoken? And then spirit is asking you to trust your instinct when it comes to the words and energy surrounding a situation. And with crown chakra right here, with the crown chakra, it says, I am connected to source. I am filled with source. My experience is of source and source becomes who I am. Guys, as I am speaking, like my solar plex, my sacral chakra and my root is on fire. So these three chakras, we are really clearing and balancing out emotions in these areas that are going to help you reach for your worth, okay? And the things that truly reflect and value you. So it says the crown chakra is located at the top of the head and is where the universal life force enters and begins its journey into our experience. As this light enters, it is given without conditions in its purest form, a love that is profound. This life force is free to be used so that we may experience the energy of our choices and each person receives the same light in equal proportion. Many soon forget that which they desire is already entering their system as they get lost in the lessons of the chakras below. Okay? And remember those three chakras that I highlighted. Lessons and situations really concerning those areas are really coming up. Remember that at any moment, you are connected to the divine. You are connected to source, God. Okay? And this love is without conditions. Where love is giving without conditions. And where there is lack, abundance will become the new experience. So when you want to experience that, reach for your worth. Know that you are worthy of love. Know that you are worthy to experience joy and happiness. It's just given without conditions. You don't need to be a certain kind of way. It's yours. And spirit is saying, don't be afraid. Reach for it. So my love, I hope that this message brings you clarity and understanding and it really helps you through this Pisces season and this new moon. Get excited because with everything that you're doing now is really setting you up for major beginnings to flow into your life. And remember, reach for your worth, okay? I love you guys so freaking much. It is such an honor to read for the beautiful soul who is watching this video. I love you oodles and oodles of much, and I will catch you on my channel. Take care. Follow, she blazing.